Uh, welcome back to Transcended. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to definitely show you how you can pass math exam with a bad CA. Okay. So we are going to assume that someone has got a very bad CA. Okay. And let's say this person has got the CA of um, less than. Uh, let me just say ten. So you have a CA of ten out of 40. Now 10 out of 40, you are still wondering if at all you are going to make it. You are still doubting if you can pass a math exam with a CA of 10 out of 40. But I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you to say it is possible and I'm going to show you. Okay. So then I'm going to show you using uh, the paper Okay, so now let's say you have a C of 10 out of 40 and then you are going in an exam, you are depressed, you feel like nothing is going to happen, but I'm here to show you to say it is possible guys, you can definitely do it, don't lose hope. Okay, so now I'm going to use a certain paper that is for last year to show you how, how someone can be able to pull through with just a C of 10. Okay, so we do know that whenever it comes for the exams, this is how it comes. So you are going to have how many questions? You have um, seven questions. You choose five questions. You leave two questions. Exam is different from test. How? Exam, you write what you know and you, 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 you leave what you don't know. But test, the reason why you have been failing the test is because if you are not okay with binomial, you have to choose binomial. If you are not okay with trig, you have to write even if you don't know anything. But here, you choose what you want. Now, listen, guys. Exam has got, uh, it's going to be 60%. Okay? Of which, you have to choose five questions. Okay? You have to choose five questions. So now, I'm going to give you a scenario where you have chosen your five questions and then on each questions we we are able to see that maybe this question i cannot be able to solve it and this one i can be able to solve it then from there we do the calculations we see if at all you can manage to pull through with a ca of 10. so here is the paper you have to choose five questions leave two questions of which i know that question one is definite i can solve it there is no any difficult thing about question question one now this question if you look at it, maybe there is a question that you feel like, ah, this one is not possible for me to solve. So what I'm going to do is, from the question that we have seen here, I know that question 1, A, B, A, 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 uh, 2, like question 1, A1 and 2, is possible you can get this. Question 2 is possible. Question, question B1, question B2, you can, you can do it. These things we have been doing it and they are there on YouTube, I definitely know that you can do it. But, I understand that you can't get 20 out of 20 because each question has got 20. Now, we are going to say that for question 1, you have gotten only 14. And you have gotten 6 wrong. Now, these 6, I've just, I, I have to include them for the sake of maybe the mistakes that I'm going to make. But definitely no one can fail to answer these questions. So, we have assumed that we have gotten how many? We have gotten 14. And we have missed 6. Another question that I can solve, that I can choose, definitely, I can choose question 2. Of which question 2, maybe question 2-1, two, is going, you, you are going to have challenges with it. I do understand because that is calculus. But these other ones, definitely I can solve. Okay? For the sake of question 2a2 I'm going to, to indicate that with the mistakes that you are going to have this question question 1 then question 2 we have gotten how many so question 2 let's say we have gotten 13 marks okay which other question do you think we can we can we can solve so I have indicated that this one I have missed how many I have missed 7 okay I have missed seven. Let's let's see question question three. Question three, you know, completing square method. 
you know how to sketch these things for the modulus. Definitely you know how to solve these. Then I can also go ahead and solve question 3. Then for this question, for the sake of errors, again, I'm going to give it to say, okay, cool. Let me just, for question 3, let me just go with 13 as well. I'm remaining with two questions. So which other questions do you think I, I should go? What of question 4? Find the domain and range. We have been doing this. And then... Uh, we have sketched the graph, this one rational function, we've been doing it. The only problem that you can have maybe is question B1, which is under calculus. So you are failing to do that and it is 6 marks. So already I've removed 6 marks. I'm assuming that I don't know that one. If at all I'm supposed to get that question. But for the rest of the question, I'm able to solve them. I can clearly see that I'm, I'm able to solve the rest of the questions. Okay. So, I'm going to remove 6, that gives me to say question 4, I'm going to, let's say I've gotten, I've gotten 14. Which other question, the last question? So, as you can see, I've not even gone into detailed calculus, but I can be able to pass exam without even knowing the detailed calculus. This is just the surface one. Okay? Now, there we go. If we look at question 5, question 5 is full of calculus, I'm going to say no, I'm not going to choose this one. Okay, it's full of calculus, so I'm not going to solve this one. Now let's go to question 6. How is question 6? If x, y, this is implicit differentiation, I can now differentiate this using uh, integration by part, then I know trig here, I can scoop this. Yes, so I'm going to go with this question. What of this other one? No, 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 no. So for this one, for me, I'll say is maybe it's going to be difficult for you to to do question six a, but I'm not going to, to I'm not going to choose question five because it has got full of calculus, and of me I'm not sure of calculus. You get my point, right? I'm assuming that you are not sure of calculus. Then it's either I can go for question six or question seven, but for this case, question seven looks so simple. Because I can solve these equations, I can solve this exact value, and I can solve limits as well as knowing if the function is continuous at this point. Of which I think this one is possible, I can even get, I mean, I can get 16. Okay? So, look at this. Question 7, I've gotten 16. Now, this year is bad, but look at how best I can prepare for my exam. So now, the good part with math is that you can be able to know what to focus on you you'll be able to know that i'm going to choose these questions because the format is already known you get my point the format of exam is already known you know that these are the questions which are supposed to come it's just a matter of you making yourself to be to perfect yourself another thing is in when you're solving math be fast and accurate because you are going to solve these five questions in only three hours okay in only three hours. Now, let's calculate. Question 1, we've got 14. So, 14 plus question three, 2, we've got 10, 13. Then again, 13, 14 plus 16. What are we going to have? Let's go, guys. So, we have 14 plus 13 plus 13 plus 14 plus 16. So, I've gotten 70. Of which, I want us to be, to be just realistic. Of which these things, the, 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 the marks I was allocating for each question, it is very possible. Even if you get, for each question, you get 13, 13, 13, 13, that is still okay. Okay? But here I was giving myself high hopes. But let's now assume to say, for each question, I have gotten 14, 14, 14. Let, let me just put 13. For each question, I've given, th so meaning that, this, that is going to be 13 times 5. Okay, I've gotten 13 for each question, of which you can get more than that, I know. So 13 times 5, because there are 5 questions, meaning you've got 65. So exam, you have got 65%. Now, your CA is 10. How do, how do you calculate now? So you have your 65 divided by 100. Exam is out of 60. So you do this times 60. So what is 65? What is 65 
divide it by 100 then times 60 that is 39 that is 39 now you see this is now 39 out of you have gotten now 39 come on guys you have now gotten 39 out of 60 because exam is out of 60 you get my point 39 out of 60 your CA is 10 what is 39 plus 10 that is 49 of which this is already a C but you had a CA of 10 again another thing is I know that I, I, I was just adding if at all you can be getting maybe other questions you get 12 other questions you get 15 other questions you get uh, maybe two questions you get 15 definitely this is going to go all the way to to 50 percent which is going to be c plus as simple as that so don't lose hope you still have time you can do it math is something that is doable okay you are not supposed to be comparing the test and the exam exam is something that is very easy if you look at this paper is is possible that i can get question seven it's possible that i can get everything I can get 20 out of 20 even if you don't know what is happening but it's possible I can get 20 out of 20 here question one I can get 20 out of 20 these are the questions even if I can struggle but at least I can get more than uh, uh, more than 10 on each question in short in in simple terms as long as you've got a CA of 10 in each question out of five questions in each questions as long as you are able to get more than 10 even if it's 11 12 then definitely you are there to pass okay you are there to pass so there's no need of you struggling yourself to say how best am i going to do it if I'm, if my ca is bad come on guys come on now for you to to do for you to do it guys make sure you go through the test you have been writing make sure you go through the throw sheets make sure you you go through the exams for the past years and of which these things we as transcendent we have solved for you we have them on site it's just a matter of you be part of our team and then you'll be able to access all these things okay this is the best time to register with us to prepare for your math exam believe me you're not going to go long and you're going to give us a testimony so let's do it guys don't waste time this is the best time to start you're writing exams in a few days to come let's do it if at all you want to register check the link in the description then you can register using the same link see you there thank you